PRPC is out with version 11 and it's got fantastic integration with TanStack Query. So let's find out how to integrate it into your TanStack Start application with TanStack Query right now. All right, I'm gonna use my favorite TanStack Router application building tool, create TS Router app at the latest. And I'm gonna add on the add-ons functionality, which gives us some more add-ons. And let's try it out. All right, I'm gonna call my app start trpc because we're gonna have start and trpc. And we're gonna use the file router. Sure, we'll use Tailwind. Not particularly interested in the tool chain at the moment. Now the easiest way to just use trpc is just select trpc and that's it, done. Thanks for the video, bye. No, just kidding. We're actually gonna walk through it step by step. But if you just want something right, right out of the box that works, just select trpc and you're done. Okay, so we're gonna go with hands that query. <laughs> We're going to go with start, and we're going to bring in clerk a little bit later in a secondary video, but let's see. Is there anything else I want to put on here? Uh, Shad CN, we're going to need that. Okay, I think we're good. Let's go. Now, I'm also going to bring in the TanStack chat example. This is a full-featured AI assistant example that has some really cool data for guitars, so let's bring that in as well. Okay, let's bring that up in cursor. I'll bring in my terminal, and then we'll do PMPM dev because we're in start. And we'll take a look at what's on port 3000. All right, we've got the awesome spinning React logo here with the Tansac Start Embed. I'm not sure if you noticed that or not. And we can go over here to our guitar demo and we can see some really cool guitars. This is the example data set that we're going to start using to learn and explore how to use TRPC. You can also get a detail page, so that's a nice little demo. It comes right out of the box, and the really cool thing is the AI assistant actually integrates with that. So if you ask for recommendations using this AI assistant on top of Anthropic, you'll get recommendations about this guitar. So if you're looking for a cool like e-commerce setup, pretty much right out of the box right there. Okay, let's go take a look at the code. Now to start integrating TRPC, I'm going to need a bunch of libraries. So let's go bring those in. This would, of course, include TRPC client and server, which are the standard client and server libraries for TRPC, as well as the TRPC TanStack React Query integration. There's also SuperJSON that we use for serialization and Zod for doing our runtime type checking. All right, now we got to create a TRPC directory. So I'm going to put that inside of source at the top level. Now, if you use the add-on version of this, you'll get it over in the integrations TRPC directory. I'm just kind of showing you that you can really put this wherever you want, although I would recommend not putting it in routes. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is initialize our trpc setup. So let's create an init file, init.ts. We'll use that init trpc to create that trpc setup. That'll give us like T, and then we can get router off of that. It's gonna give us create trpc router that we can use to create our trpc route definitions, and then public procedure, which is a way to define a public RPC procedures. So we're gonna use that public procedure to create RPC functions that get us the list of all the guitars as well as the guitars by a given ID. So let's do that. Let's go and create our router file. This is going to have our TRPC RPC functions. Importantly, we're gonna bring in that create TRPC router as well as the public procedure, and that's what we're gonna to use to build our set of RPC functions. We also need our guitars data because that's what we're actually gonna return from our endpoint. And then we're gonna create our guitar router. And that guitar router is gonna have two procedures on it. The first is list. That's going to return the list of guitars. And then by ID, and by ID is going to specify that you need an input for that, which would be an ID being the ID of the guitar. And then it's just going to filter out and find whichever guitar that is and return it to you. Now, of course, both of these query functions are async functions that are returning synchronous data. You can actually put asynchronous code in there if you want, no problem. All right, let's create our TRPC router by then giving it the guitars router. We can make as many routers as we want. So we're going to have guitars in there. And then we've got the type of the trpc router that we're then going to pass around and that's where we're going to get our type safety from trpc all right now to get this working in the context of tanstack start we actually need to create a tanstack start api route that is then going to pass off requests to that route to this router code so let's go build that right now i'll go into source routes and then i'll create a new file call it api because it's an api route trpc because it's trpc dollar because that's going to take anything after that slash api slash trpc and send it on to the request and then ts because there's no tsx code in there so what this is going to do now is bring in that trpc router that we just defined and we're going to create an api file route and give it get and post handlers 
And then we're just going to give that get and post request off to handler, which then wraps this fetch request handler that we get back from the TRPC server adapters. Okay, let, let's give it a try. So we'll fire up the server again. We go back over here and everything's looking good. Now let's actually go and make an API request by doing slash API slash TRPC and then guitars dot list. And there we go. We got our first TRPC endpoint. Everything's set up. Now we just need to integrate it with Handstack Query and React. But before we do that, let me talk about today's sponsor, and that's my friends over at Infinite Red. Infinite Red is the OG React Native consultancy. They have been in the React Native game from the beginning, and they are fantastic people to work with. They've built astounding applications. They're both beautiful and well-architected for the companies that they work with. Whenever I have a question when it comes to React Native, the first folks that I go to are my friends over at Infinite Red. I've loved every single person that I've worked with there. Seriously, they are just a great crew. They not only help you build your React Native application, but they help you build your React Native skill set on your team. They help you build the team as well, which is fantastic. And there's a reason for that, because they've been involved in the community, the React Native community from the start. They've got React Native Radio, which is a fantastic podcast that you should subscribe to today. And they have the Chain React conference in my hometown of Portland, Oregon. It is a fantastic conference where you can learn all about React Native and really React too. And in fact, I was able to give a lecture there and they helped me on the React Native side of the house, make sure that my app was all ready to go for that. These are just fantastic people. I love that they've decided to sponsor this YouTube channel. I really appreciate that. If you need help with your React Native application, I can't stress enough that this is the team that you want to connect with. As I say, every time I've got a React Native issue, these are the folks that I reach out to, and you should too. All right, we've got our TRPC endpoint going. Let's go and integrate this into our React stack. First thing I'm going to do is create our hook for React that's going to connect us to TRPC, and I'm going to create that in the react.ts file inside of there. Now to create that TRPC context, which is going to give us back our use TRPC hook, we are going to bring in create TRPC context from TRPC Tanstack React query. Then we're going to bring in our definition of the router that we just created. Again, that's going to give us our cool type safety. And we're going to use that create TRPC context to bring that all together and give us back that use TRPC as well as the TRPC provider component that we're going to use to wrap our application and provide that context down to our React components. It's really pretty easy. Now, the next thing to do is connect it with Tanstack Query. So to do that, I'm going to go over here to our integrations directory and then into Tanstack Query. This is the module that creates the query client, which we then have as context that we give to all of the parts of the app. So this is a good place to add on the TRPC context as well. So I'm going to bring in a few more imports, but most importantly, the TRPC provider that we're then going to go and use down here as the replacement provider to the query client provider. But first, we need a TRPC client. So let's go and build that. To do that, we call TRPC client, and we bring in that TRPC router definition. So that gives us our type safety. And then as a transport layer, we're going to use the HTTP batch stream length or multiple transport layers that you can use. But this is you know the easiest one, sort of standard one out of the box. Now, we do need the URL for the service, which is really just API TRPC. But... When you were requesting it off the server, we want it to be an absolute URL, including the host name. And then when we're on the client, we want to use a relative URL like this. So to do that, we're going to implement this get URL function. This get URL function just switches on whether Windows is available or not. And if Windows is not available, which means that we're running on the server, then we want an absolute URL. Now, when it comes to the Tanstack query client, we are going to upgrade that so it uses SuperJSON, serialize, and deserialize. Now we need to add the TRPC client to the context. So I'm going to drop that down here. Now to create that TRPC client context, it needs both the Tansac query client as well as the TRPC client. And that creates server helpers that we can then assign to TRPC as part of the context. And then finally down here in the provider, we're going to replace the query client provider with our TRPC provider. That's all we need to do here. But we do need to go and change the base router to wrap our app in that TRPC provider. So to do that, we're going to add on to the router with query client invocation and then add the wrap functionality, which allows us to wrap 
the app in our Tanstack query provider, which is really a TRPC provider. If you're like, wait a second, hold on, don't we need a query client provider as well? Well, actually, this router with query client function, try saying that 10 times fast, actually provides the Tanstack query provider functionality. Really, all you need is a context. You don't necessarily need to use that provider. All right, one last, last thing before we can actually start using this, let's go over to our root route. And just to make sure that we have full type safety, we're going to add on that we have TRPC as part of our router context. That was defined back here in the get context. So this just matches with that. Okay, now that we've got everything set up, let's just make sure that everything is still working. We'll just hit refresh and everything looks good. Now let's actually try it out. So we're gonna actually retool this page. Let's go take a look at the implementation right now. And it's over in example guitars index. This is the index page for the guitars. And currently we just get the data directly out of the data file. Now that means that that data file becomes part of the bundle that goes to the client. If you have a lot of guitars, that's a problem. So what we wanna do instead is actually make the request from the component using TRPC. So to do that, we're gonna bring in use query from Tansac query and then that use TRPC hook that we created over in TRPC React. Now we use TRPC to get the TRPC client and then we use use query to make that call. So how do I make that call? Well, I can go to TRPC dot and I get my cool hinting because I've got the full type safety, awesome, guitars, list, and then query options. So query options fits in with Tansac query. That gives us back data which we can then map to guitars. And we just gotta make sure that it is non-null when we start. We hit save and we should be good to go. Let's hit refresh and you see that it does work, but we get this blinking behavior and that's because we are making the request to get all of the guitars from the client back to the server endpoint and that's giving us that flash. So what if we wanted to do it at server side render time? What if we wanna go and get the data from the server to the server and back and use that to preload that fetch? Well, we can do exactly that. So to do that, we create a loader in the route. And what this loader is gonna do is it's just gonna prefetch that query and save it as part of the page. And then when we go and use that query later, it's gonna already have that data ready to go. So let's hit save, hit refresh, and now, it's solid like a rock. And if I go and I look at the page source, I do my line wrap, we can see that all of the information for the guitars is actually in the returned HTML, which makes this good for SEO. All right, so next up, we can show how to use a parameterized query by implementing the same idea on the details page. This details page gets an ID, in this case two, and we wanna go and use that ID as part of the query that we send to TRPC. All right, let's go over to our guitar detail page route. As we can see, it's doing the same thing. It's bringing in that guitar's data as part of the bundle. So we want to use TRPC. So again, we'll use use query as well as use TRPC. And again, we'll use our prefetch query, but this time we have params. So params has our guitar ID, and we're going to pass that on to our by ID function. We also need the context. All right, looks good. And then down inside of our route component, we can again use TRPC. We can get the guitar ID from the routes use params. That gives us a really nice type safe guitar ID. And then we use use query, TRPC, guitars, by ID, query options. And we give it that ID that we convert into a number. And if we don't have the guitar, then we just return that we could not find the guitar, but let's give it a go. So ideally, when I hit refresh here, it should just be solid like a rock. And it is, and let's make sure that all of that data is coming through and all those HTML is pre-rendered for SEO. And there you see it right down the bottom here, you got the superhero guitar. So that's all in the initial HTML for the page, which means that it's SEO friendly and ready to go. All right, now there is one more thing when it comes to how to use the TRPC query functionality that I wanna to get to, and that's over here with our AI assistant. So our AI assistant knows the list of products that it can provide recommendations on the right guitars, but it knows it exactly the same way as we've had it before, where it just accesses that data directly. So let's say that we want to make a TRPC call from the AI tool to go and get that data. Well, that's an interesting thing because that tool doesn't have access to the React context. So this is going to teach us how to use TRPC outside of the React context. All right, so where is that tool defined? Well, it's defined over here in Utils, Demo Tools. I'm gonna get rid of this boilerplate code here. We're not gonna use that. 
So as you can see, we have a Git Guitars tool that we then pass off to the AI, and that's what the AI library invokes when we want to give it the product list. And of course, we're just going and getting the guitars from the data example guitars. But let's save the way I use TRPC instead. Well, let's just bring in the TRPC client that we created from that root provider. And then down in our execute, we can await the TRPC guitars list query. And that's it. That's all I need to do in order to go and use that TRPC client that we do use in the React context, but I can also use it in a non-React context. It's, it's really nice. Okay, let's give it a try. So we'll go back over to our guitar demo, go over to our AI assistant, and we'll ask it for a video game themed guitar. Can you recommend a video game themed guitar? Okay, so it's gone off to Anthropic, it's made the request. It's actually a tool, the tool is making the TRPC fetch and then returning the data, which is going back to the AI, and the AI has recommended, yay, the video game guitar, which is exactly the right guitar for somebody who's interested in video games. These are all AI guitars. None of these are variable. I get it. They're beautiful. I would love to have them too, but unfortunately, they're just AI generated. All right, so we know how to set up TRPC as well as make queries inside of our application. The next thing we want to look at is how to do mutations. So that we're going to look at that in the follow-up video to this. I'll see you there. In the meantime, if you like this video, hit that like button. If you really like the video, hit the subscribe button and click on that bell and be notified the next time a new blue-collar coder comes out.